my fantasy team. We're we're bad. There's no chemistry. There's no it's locker like room. Cowboys, eh? There's no it's locker like room the chemistry. <sighs> They're about to get maximum after. I'm the Hey, give the people what they want, and that's absolute maximum effort. Full sprint. Absolute full sprint. You keep up with me. Ready? Come on. Come on. Oh, God, Sammy. You got to fight to it. After a busy off-season for the Fighting Tigers, the coaching staff is settling into its new home in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, just in time for fall ball to start at Alec Box Stadium Skip Bertman Field. We're just trying to get improvement on a daily basis right now. When you're starting from scratch with a new team, new program, there's a lot of things you have to implement and we're doing that slowly so we make sure we master what we're doing and then the goal is to just keep getting better each day. And so when we show up in February, it's a completely different team in terms of skill, in terms of ability to win than we are right now. And so far we're making good progress on that. This cloud's a lifesaver, huh? You're my lifesaver. Thank you. Put a mic on and you just start being flattering me, huh? Whoa, whoa, I'm always not. Oh. I thought I was going. <laughs> <laughs> You're so fast. <bad. laughs> <laughs> you see it? Yeah, Whoa! Fastest freak boy. That's the fastest freak boy. Gavin Dugas, who's returning for his senior season, is one of the leaders on this Tiger team that will be crucial to their success this season. Last year, Dugas led the team in home runs and RBIs. He was a huge factor in LSU's NCAA regional win in Eugene, Oregon. Dugas is wearing the coveted number eight jersey that Tigers from Mikey Matuk to Matthew Beck have worn to exemplify their Tiger spirit, winning attitude, and leadership role. Talking to the coach, he, he really wants me to be the person I've always been and uh, not changing anything other than that, just playing the game the way I've always played it and uh, leading by example. That's kind of as simple as it gets and just trying to enjoy the game as much as I possibly can. Four! Get up! Yeah. A little middle infield action? Yeah, gotta catch it first, let's see you. Told you we had the middle infield in us. Along with the new coaching staff, the Tigers have many new faces in the locker room, with freshmen and transfers coming into the program, like transfer catcher Tyler McManus. Right. Hmm. All right, feed him. Yeah, I'll feed. I'll feed. One more. Go, Jagger, boy. Get down. Nice, Will. Beat it. Nice job, Jordan. Work. With a pitching staff that lost two of its weekend starters to the 2021 MLB Draft, the Tigers have reloaded with a group that is preparing to undertake the grueling schedule that the SEC has to offer. Now Blake wants I get a mic on me, and Blake's yeah. like, I'm your best friend. Yeah. They said, who would be a good candidate for this? And I said, you want somebody who never stops talking? Take Dawson. All Dude, I'd stop. I'd stop talking. Easy. Easy money. <laughs> You talk more than I do. You talk way more than I do. You talk oh, louder, too. Oh That's Cap. That's Cap. Oh Cap. OK, what's the conditioning? I'll be down there in a minute. OK, never mind. We can hang out. Huh? We can just be down there chopping it up, <laughs> cut up. Maybe some, uh, some content. I'll let you guys negotiate. Yeah, just let us get some content. Like, I, I, I came down here for some content. Yeah. Cool. But, I should, because you're, you know, you're hot mic tonight, I think you should be the negotiator. OK. We'll put the entire conditioning on you. <laughs> Like you're gonna tell me and then I'll pick. Choices. All right. And we'll see. All right. All right. I'm sitting back down. For my legs, for my legs explode. Four, 440 laps, which is a full lap around the cage. Stop at the at the um, home plate in the bullpen, and then walk 
to here to catch your breath. Four of those. Okay. You're already saying no, huh? I've given him three choices. Yeah, I'm picking today. But he's not a good negotiator because he's already saying no to things. So <laughs> no, now I'm going to make the next thing even worse. You can't say no. And then you have yeah, three exactly. Options. It's like playing cards. I wasn't saying no. I was shaking my hair out. No, you weren't. Okay, never mind. What's three? <laughs> so being a JUCO transfer coming in, being my first year here, being an older guy as well, um, I feel pretty confident in what we got here. A lot of the guys are meshing and blending really well. Um, the philosophies here is really clear, and it's just get 1% better. And one thing that uh, Coach Johnson said at the beginning of the year that stuck with me was all he's going to ask for is everything you got for that day. And a lot of guys have been doing that lately, and I feel like it's going to build up eventually, and it's really going to pay off here in the end. Kevin, I've been itching, bro. Like, is that rash you have from Aiden? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they won't put that in the video. <laughs> did you hear that? Yeah, you did. <laughs> 